Okay, guys. Um, what I'm going to do today is tell you a little bit of a story. Now, I remember some Jehovah's Witnesses came around. used to come around every Thursday, like clockwork. They, they kept coming on one day. They, uh, this is the last day they came. They stopped coming after this. About the Bible, we'll talk about their, their, their book, the uh, New World Translations. And they said, look, it's, it's near Halloween. I said, well, well look, you know, um, Halloween is... Uh, or what your viewpoints are on it, but um, they said it was, you know, Halloween and Christmas and Easter and things like that. It's all based in paganism, and Jesus wasn't born on on uh, Christmas; was born on a different day. So well, I said, "Well, hang on." So what was it? Pagan? So well, there's sort of things like snowman, Santa Claus, Easter eggs, Easter bunnies, and obviously things involved in Halloween. So well, Halloween actually translate means All Saints Eve. Next day, first of November, being All Saints Day. But anyway, that's a slightly different issue. Um, but uh, things like Christmas, what about all the um, uh, Christian things like the, the Nativity, the Hot Cross Bun, the Sennel Cake? Uh, you know, you can use these events to actually talk about God. And uh, it's actually quite an interesting time because. Uh... But anyway, um, what I wanted to come to talk about is the Sennel Cake. I like, I like to do a Sennel Cake, but in this video, uh, I'm going to do a sort of a cheap, dirt cheap, and easy sennel cake um, because basically it's a sennel cake. It's just it's a fruit cake with marked top to marge pans, about eleven balls in it, each representing the apostles. And um, there's eleven because obviously Judas Iscariot uh, was a betrayed Jesus, and so that's why there's only eleven. Okay, but you know, children like um, sennel cakes, so I'm going to show you what I do each year. Just, uh, you know, my, my wife, we, we don't really like. Um, marzipan well my wife doesn't like marzipan and i'm going to show you it's sort of a kind of a diy version that i like to do each year very step and what you do instead of using marzipan you can get just a commercial cake what i've got is this uh mini eggs easter cake and it's a regular mini eggs so while I'm doing this now, today's a bit. This is going to be a little bit weird because of coronavirus, <clears throat> so we can't really do. Uh, you know, you, you could get a, an emoji. I've, I've done this before. You get an emoji cake. You just take things off and then you put egg around the edge. It still looks the same. It's a sponge cake, but this is a chocolate cake. I'm going to show you how to make a makeshift. Uh, so what I'm going to do is going to get this cake. That's the basic cake you get from the supermarket. Actually, this cost me three pounds. This cost me a pound. I'm going to get a knife. And I'm going to remove these eggs from the centre carefully. Okay, there we go. It's coming off. And uh, now, after Judas betrayed Jesus, it was actually on the the Last Supper that he did this. So I'm going to go through a few Bible verses. So first one is in Matthew. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to refer to that uh, about uh, what happened afterwards was uh, communion. So let's go to a Bible verse quick while I uh, get these eggs off. Okay guys, the uh, first reading is from um, Matthew 26 verse 25 to uh, 30. I'll, I'll, I've got a Bible app and I'll put it in in, in, a, in a screenshot. It says, uh, Jesus was replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to the man who betrays the Son of Man. It will be better for him if he had been born. Then, Judas, the one who betrayed him, said, Surely not I. Jesus answered, Yes, it is you. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread and gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. For the forgiveness of sins, I tell you, 
I will not drink of this fruit, for the vine from now on until the day when I drink it anew with you. In my father's kingdom, when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Okay, so um, Mount of Communion is an interesting song. Now, you probably think, yeah, but isn't that sort of a, a pagan related thing? Well, the only connection is that and the Great Rite. So, let's so move those into the centre of it to centre. Pagan fertility ritual and communion um, is the only thing with a cup of wine. Guys, now, I want to talk about the apostles because the apostles are actually very important. See, Jesus, both our sins, and the biggest witnesses you'll ever find are the apostles. Okay, guys, the um, next uh, passage, and I'll also uh, you know, take a screenshot from my Bible app as well, um, is from Matthew twenty-eight sixteen to 20, which is like the very end of the book of Matthew. And it goes like this, the Great Commission. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. I, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. See, the apostles are very important in the, the resurrection case. Um, because these guys witnessed it. Now, you could say, well, well what about, you know, hallucinations or joint um, or hypnosis? Well, nobody has group hallucinations. I'm sorry, it doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to go for a few different colours here. Because this is ideal for, you know, kids. Um, <clears throat> so group hallucinations really don't happen now so the only conclusion to make is well they actually did see Jesus rise from dead because these people went to their deaths knowing deaths that's a real big case for um, the resurrection um <clears throat> Some bulls have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two more, I think. One there. And uh, another one there. Uh, no, put another one there. So here we have our kind of makeshift central case. Not a brilliant one. But that's what I do each year. Um, you see, we... We were running around like hippie flower children until we made a screw up of things. If you read Genesis chapter three, um, if you read Isaiah five fifteen, I think it is, where it says, uh, "We all like sheep have gone astray; everyone turned to his own way." But the iniquities of us all. Romans uh, six uh, verse. 25, I think it is, for the wages of sin of death, but in our um, sin of death, um, but uh, in Jesus we have everlasting life. And comes back to the final one, you know, um, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, he shall believe in him, shall not perish, but have eternal life. Um, sorry, this doesn't work out the way it should, um, this video, but. I just wanted to show you, you know, the importance of several cakes uh, in Easter time because if it wasn't for these guys, these 12 apostles, I mean, you know, the similarity between Jesus and uh, President Nixon, they both entrusted 12 men. Now, if these guys lied, these guys took this lie to their deaths. 
whereas Nixon's men can only hold on to uh, a life for about three weeks. That's the difference. Um, have a good Easter this uh, this year. I'm sorry it's going to be a bit of a bad one because of the coronavirus. I uh, won't be able to do much. But uh, take care of yourselves and thanks guys.